And welcome to our bi-weekly web chat with Mayor Pat Sebesky, where we go over the upcoming agenda for this Thursday's council meeting. And one item that's uh, been added to the agenda this morning, Pat, uh, the fire chief, I guess, is going to come in and kind of do an overview of uh, what happened last Sunday with the fire, correct? Uh, yes, Chief uh, Fire Chief Tegler will come in and do an overview of the emergency response. And so that will be explaining how everything was coordinated, all the uh, coordination with uh, EMS, uh, with other uh, fire departments, for example, when uh, Beachville fire volunteer firefighters came over to man the Van Siddert uh, station while the fire was going on. So he'll bring all, coordinate all that and explain to people how the emergency response uh, came together. That should be really interesting. It's, it'll be interesting um, because, again, I think uh, it was demonstrated. I think most people will recognize that the response was very good. But uh, uh, as mayor and uh, Fire Chief Tegler, he's my co-chair of the emergency response. So we have to, we're uh, required to put to, uh, a report together. So we'll be calling all the agencies together to find out uh, what we did well. Is there anything we could fine tune to make it better for the next emergency? Right. Uh, staying with emergency response, the police budget is coming up and uh, you've been sitting on the police services board. So what can you tell us about uh, what to expect on Thursday night there? Um, the, uh, the police budget, this will be the second uh, budget for the Woodstock Police Service. So uh, Police Chief Freeman uh, uh, last year was, uh, was a good guesstimate. And so there was a few uh, pluses, a few uh, minuses, but basically they came in online uh, with the budget. Uh, this year here, there's a, a couple extra things that uh, uh, are budgeted that we didn't realize. Um, so the budget for the uh, police uh, is incre has increased. And there's also a requirement uh, in the capital budget to uh, uh, provide them with uh, money, 350000 to improve the uh, the IT, the software that they have, uh, because it's basically uh, got way behind and it's no different than the issue they came across four or five years ago with the communication equipment. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a budget. I think Chief Freeman uh, has uh, certainly the police board. We've gone through the budget. He's cut it down from the original draft that he started with. And uh, so it'll be presented to council for the first time and will also be live on Rogers. Okay, sounds good. Uh, money for Cenotaph restoration, it looks like that's going to move forward at uh, this current meeting and probably happening in the spring? Uh, that's the anticipation. Um, there had been uh, uh, questions raised, could we add names to the Cenotaph names that were missing? Mm -hmm. uh, staff at the museum, Karen Houston, did a lot of research with support, finding and verifying the names of people that were missing. Yeah. And then in discussions with other legions, uh, when you're making these number of changes, it was basically the best idea was to put a new face on. And so for a cost of approximately 15000 half of it being picked up by a, uh, a federal grant, uh, the, uh, the, the names will be uh, re-engraved, the missing names will be put on, and so that will take place in the spring. Yeah, that's an important project. Uh, and the soccer club a couple of weeks ago came asking for money. Uh, you know, they had a number of uh, extremely high bills come in for the opening of the Cowan Park uh, indoor complex. And I guess there's been a meeting between the soccer club and staff, and that's that's coming forward on Thursday night as well? That's coming forward. The soccer came forward uh, about a month ago. And like with any new project, uh, they were uncertain as to what their cash flow revenues would be, uh, trying to guess what expenses would be. And and so uh, they've been a great partner with the city. They've always met their commitments in the past because they, uh, for use of the uh, facility, they, they pay back and, in, in essence, pay off the mortgage. But uh, with this initial two years, they've indicated there'll be some cash flow difficulties as they adjust their revenue, adjust their expenses. And so uh, it's, a, it's a facility out there that's uh, quite... Um, that's used quite a bit. And so the city's saying, okay, fine, we've enjoyed the partnership, we'll work with you. And so uh, I've yet to go look at this report and see the chessboard as to how the permutations as to how we're going to help them. But again, uh, council was committed to uh, working with them through this cash flow period for the next two years. As uh, Once they get stability, they'll understand exactly what their expenses will be. Yeah, and we'll check it all out on Thursday night. Uh, very busy time in Woodstock and uh, looking forward to Thursday night's council meeting. Well, it, it'll be an interesting one. Yeah.